Hey! What's up, guys? Today's football Sunday. But that's not the reason I'm here. The reason I'm here doing this video is because I want to show you guys how I grill my chicken, how I make it taste really good but while keeping the fats minimal and the sodium minimal. So you guys ready? Okay, so this right here is the grill I'm gonna use. Okay, so before you start everything, you wanna make sure you turn it on, right? You're gonna turn it on. After that, turn these switches on. The reason is because you wanna warm up the grill. Okay, and the reason you wanna warm it up is because while you're out there in the kitchen, well, while you're in there in the kitchen cutting up the chicken and you bring it out here, you want the grill all ready and warm. So you just put on the chicken with the seasoning you're gonna use. I usually get chicken from Walmart. Each chicken breast, I'm gonna cut in half. And you see like this fat it has on the chicken? I don't know if you guys can see it. There's like fat on it. You wanna cut that off, man. You wanna cut that off. That's unwanted, unwanted fat that you don't need. Uh, you cut that off. You look out for any roaches. Uh, just kidding. Um, okay, once that fat is gone, hold on, got a little bit more. Okay. Oh, damn, there's a bunch of fat everywhere, yo. This little nigga was hungry. Alright, guys, now that everything's all cut up, this is what the meat look, should, look, should look like. Um, no fat on it. And out here, I brought this. I don't know what this is called, but I brought this. Then you need some seasoning. I use Mrs. Dash, no salt, salt free. And then um, an onion. Okay, onion is important, guys. Let me show you guys why. For the onions used, you gotta get this. You gotta clean it, right? Clean the grill, guys. Clean it. Ah. Fucking dirty. Yes. Fuck. Okay. Do that. The whole grill. No shortcuts, man. No shortcuts. Okay, now that that's done with. That's when the onion comes in. The onion. Why do you need the onion? This is why, guys. That grill is not germ-free, man. This onion, it's gonna help with that. Kill all those germs. You don't want germs in your food, do you? That's what I thought. So you get this onion and you place it on the grill with your damn hands. And you just scrub away, baby. You just scrub away. Uh, you just scrub away the whole fucking grill. Everything. No fucking shortcuts. Okay? Be careful because it fucking burns. Man. After a while, your hands are burning, you need a fucking break. Yeah, make sure the whole thing gets clean. Okay, now that it's been cleaned with the onion, time to make some chicken. Alright, so what you want to do here is you want to grab each chicken breast, right? Spread some seasoning on it. Bam! Just throw it up in there. All up in there. Get another one. Oh. Show those chicken breasts who's boss, baby. Show them who's boss. Don't let them talk back to you. This is how it should look in the grill. Right after it looks like that, you know what you do next? You close it. And you let it cook up. Wait, actually, there's one more thing you gotta do before you um, close it. You gotta spread more. You gotta spread um, seasoning on this side. All the chicken. All the chicken. See, it's not even that hard, huh? Grilling chicken on your own. Fuck, there's no more. No. I want to say a quick little prayer to my poor little seasoning that just died a minute ago. This is Ash. I loved you. Okay. And now you close it. Alright, so generally you have to wait like 10 minutes. And while we wait those 10 minutes, I want to tell you a little story. A quick little story. Alright, so... I was at, um, at the bars this past um, Friday night. And I noticed something. You know, I don't really go to bars. But when I do go, I notice something all the time. There's there's hot chicks everywhere, man. There's so many chicks there. There's a lot of hot ones. You could approach one, man, and like, these chicks, like, some of them won't even curve you, right? But what they do is, they ask you, like, 
hey, why don't you buy me a drink? And now that's what you got to worry about, man. See, it's something like when they ask you for a drink, like so many things are going through your head, right? Well, maybe not. Maybe you're thinking like, oh, damn, she's into me. She wants me. I'm going to buy her a drink. But me, since I go with like a couple girls that I know, and they do this to a lot of guys, man. They use them for drinks, man. They, they get them thinking that, these, that they want these guys just so these guys can buy them drinks, right? So now whenever a girl wants me to buy her a drink, I'm thinking like, damn, does she really want me? Or does she just want drinks? It's just a little something to think about, you know? Don't just don't make just don't make stupid financial decisions and waste your whole fucking paycheck on these chicks, man. A lot of them just want drinks. So the next time just ask them if they're down to go to IHOP afterwards or something. If they say no then they're not into you, man. Alright, so you like, what you want to do is you kind of want to squeeze the chicken to see if it's soft. If it seems soft, then you just flip it, man. Piece of cake. Looks good. Oh. Alright. Ooh. Look at that. Damn. I can't believe I want to eat these things tonight. go guys maybe close it a little bit wait like five more minutes grill master okay, so this is how the chicken should look the reason it looks white on some sides is because I didn't put enough seasoning remember when I flipped them second time I mean when I flipped them and I tried to put seasoning on the second time on the second side I didn't have enough so that's why it's white but it should be all crunchy looking yeah and one thing is don't forget to turn them off Turn them off, man. Turn it off. Oh, all the way. This is that one time I made the, the mistake of not turning it off, and it was like, I was scared, man. I almost burned the whole fucking house down. All right, I just want to say thank you guys for watching this episode of me grilling chicken breasts, man. I know there's nothing in the world that's more beautiful and more fun to watch than me cooking chicken breast. Alright, see you guys next time.